Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining us on Ludicrous Feed today. A couple of things I want to share with you in today's video. The first thing is I want to talk to you about my Solar Array and Powerwall 2's performance in January. The second thing is I want to talk to you about is a case study of a quote for solar panels and a Powerwall 2, which one of our viewers has kindly sent in and we'll examine that in detail very shortly. So let's talk about my solar panels and my Powerwall 2. I've only got a three kilowatt array, as you guys know. In January, it produced 371 kilowatt hours and 58.9% went directly to power the house. And then the remaining 41.1% went to the Powerwall 2, which was then used to power the house after the sun went down. Interestingly, 0% went to the grid, so none of that energy was exported to the grid. My house used 459 kilowatt hours in January and 47.6% came directly from solar and the remaining 38.5% from Powerwall 2 and 13.8% from the grid. So you can say that my house was self-powered about 86% of the time in January 2019, which is summer in Australia and Sydney and uh, we get lots of sunlight and sunshine here. So uh, not too bad, 86% self-powered for a three kilowatt solar array. Obviously I need more solar panels to get that closer to 100%, which brings me to my next thing I wanna talk about, which is a quote, which one of our viewers has kindly sent in. Uh, now this person is from WA, Western Australia, and uh, let's have a look at the quote from Bradford Energy, which this person received. And uh, in, before I get into the quote, I wanna show you this average estimated daily production which Bradford Solar has produced for its potential customers. They've got on the um, x-axis or the horizontal axis the different systems from 2 kilowatt, 3 kilowatt, 5 kilowatt, 8 kilowatt to 10 kilowatt systems and then the cities, the major capital cities in Australia in alphabetical order from Adelaide to Sydney on the left side or on the y-axis and it gives you a nice table to show you how much you can expect to produce with your different sized solar array in terms of kilowatt hours for each day. So let's have a look at um, Sydney, for example. Um, I've got a three kilowatt system and I can expect it to produce 11.7 kilowatt hours every day. Uh, if I had a five kilowatt system, I can expect 19.5 kilowatt hours. Now these numbers are not very far off what I've been sort of saying of my videos over the last year where you just multiply in Sydney by four, the amount of kilowatts you've got on your roof and that will give you your average daily solar production in kilowatt hours. Obviously this varies day to day with cloud cover and obviously with more sun that this number will increase but across the whole year this is about average production for each day for each capital city um, as you can see in this graph. Let's have a look at this person's quote. So there were two options. The first option was a 6.6 um, .6 kilowatt PV array with uh, a Powerwall 2 attached to it. The second quote was just solar by itself. Let's have a look at the first quote 6.6 .6 kilowatt PV system with 22 300 watt Canadian Coup Power poly panels on the north facing roof of the property. Comes with a five kilowatt three phase Fronius Simo inverter or Simo inverter with production monitoring. Also comes with a Tesla Powerwall 2. Bradford Solar quoted this person a total of $19,220 with the solar and Powerwall 2 after um, after the STC discounts, which is the discounts we get in Australia for solar panels, includes the inverter as well. Tell me what you guys think of that price, 19,000 for six kilowatts and a Powerwall 2. And also tell me what you guys think of the um, Canadian Coup Power poly panels at 300 watt per panel. Um, tell me what you think of that brand. And also let's have a look at option number two, the second quote, which was just the 6.6 .6 kilowatt PV system, same panels, um, you get the Fronia Simo inverter as well. That came in at $6,920 after discounts um, for a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system. To me, that seems like a pretty good price. Um, I've certainly seen a more expensive quote um, for less. Um, I'm not sure about this Canadian Coup Power Poly Panels. I don't know too much about that brand, but if you do, or if you've heard of that brand, please uh, leave a comment, I'd like to hear from you. Uh, as you know, I am personally looking for quotes as well. Um, so I will be looking for quotes and publishing them on this channel as the year goes on and I'll try and get the best deal of course for my property. If you've had a quote recently, um, please send it into ludicrousfeed98 at gmail.com if you're willing to share with the rest of the community. Obviously I will um, cut out your details um, and keep, keep privacy uh, paramount of course on this channel. Um, but you know, we'd love to examine it and um, if you're in the process of shopping around for panels, you know, we'd love to help you out and um, and 
see what we think as a community to see whether that quote is a good deal or not for your property. All right, guys, well, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, as always, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment, particularly on this issue with quotes for solar panels and Powerwall 2. All right, hopefully it's a lovely day wherever you are in this world. Take care of yourselves, and as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching, and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. Happy charging!